hello everyone welcome to the session in this session we are going to discuss about how we can send the json data to elasticsearch using elk stack this is the demo session and we have created one application and the data flow is like this we have one one file which contains the json this file is being read by filevit filevit is sending the data to logstash and logstash is applying the json filter then it will send the data to elasticsearch which will store the data in the in the index that data would be displayed in the kivana so th this would be the data flow what we need to create this application json data the file which contains the json filevit software logstash software elasticsearch software kivana software we are using version 6.8 of all softwares you can use any available version of your choice we have discussed many times about all these softwares in our previous videos so why now you should be comfortable with all these softwares now let's see first the file which contains the json this is the file name test.txt which contains the json data you can see one thing you need to keep in mind is complete json object should be present in a single line one json object should not be expanded to multiple lines otherwise data would not this json data would not be parsed successfully so you need to keep in mind to create one line for each json object and we have 11 json object which are equivalent to 11 document in the elastic search then this is the file with configuration file which contains the path of the the file which contains the json this test.txt we are using the type log and output is log test file with would send the data to log test now let's see the log test configuration this is the log test configuration file you can see it has input type beat because log test is receiving the data from beat this is the filter section and this is the output section in output section we mentioned where log test is sending the data so log test is sending the data to elastic search as well as to to the console log test console and in the console we can see the data which is being sent to the elastic search for this session important section is filter so in filter we have two type filter i have used mutate and json mutate filter is optional that's up to you if you want to use that's okay mutate filter is used to perform the mutation on the event received or data received from file wheat so that is mutate filter is optional if you want to read more on mutate filter i've already created a video you can you can check the playlist this is important fil filter for this session json filters this is used to parse the json received from the file bit this filter is used to parse the json present in the file this so all these json object would be parsed by this json filter there are few pro property we are using here first is the skip on invalid json so in case the json is not correct or not valid then this particular json filter would be skipped log test would skip this filter but continue with other filters whatever present in the filter section so this is for that if you don't use this in case json is not valid the log test will would not proceed with other filters or would not apply the other filters which are present in the filter section and another property is the source here we mention the field name which contains the json data so the field name is message which contains our json data present in the file target so target is the field store the json which json filter will create after parsing so this is the target add tag so add tag is used to add the particular tag in the event or output of the log test this tag is used to tell that the json parsing was successful or not if this tag is present in the output means json 
parsing was successful if it is not present means json parsing was not successful that we would see when we will start our log and file bit so this is about the configuration so important thing is the json filter now let's start our log stats. so i have already downloaded the log stats and this is the i have launched the bin path of the log stats and running the command to start we already discussed how to start the log stats in our previous videos i already uploaded you can check the playlist so this is the log stats command here we are mentioning the property the configuration file name path of the configuration file name so let's press the enter now let's also start the file width so this is the command to start the file width here the name of the file width configuration file these are the configuration file we are using this is for log stats and this is for file width so this is the file width configuration file name let's press enter and let's start the elastic search so i have already started the elastic search you need to run the elastic search dot bat in the bin path of the elastic search and then the start the kivana so i already started you need to launch the kivana dot, dot kivana dot bat in the bin path of the kivana software so wait for software to be up and running Elastic search already running, Kivana already running, file width has also started and log has also started. Now let's see if the data is coming or not. Yeah. You can see. So this is the log test console and this data is coming from the test.txt file which contains the JSON data being read by the file width file width sending to the log stats and the log stats parsing that json and sending to the elastic search as well as to the console so we are seeing this the data which is coming on the console you can see this is the output first message second event it contains our data you can see this is our json data id name age car So it contains message, timestamp, out of the box, and the JSON name of the target. You can see this is a log test, and the target is the JSON data where we are saving our data after parsing. Where we are saving our JSON after parsing. So this is the JSON object. This and it contains all the JSON field. So this is how it look like means our parsing is successful and also we discussed about the tag so you can see one tag added message underscore json underscore pass means the parsing was successful one just invalid json object you can see it is without ending bracket means it should not parse let's see you can see this this is our id 10 this this is our id 10 means it was not successful you can see that this is very small message only message is present there is there is no particular json data means it was invalid and that's why you can see the that's why log has sent the only message to the console and to the elastic search now let's see the elastic search what it is showing so for that first you need to open the kivana user interface so this is the kivana interface you need to click on the management and then the index management click on the index management you will see the index name you have con configured in the log test where you have configured here we have configured this demo json so since our data is exported to Elasticsearch, so index also created in the Elasticsearch, which Kivana is showing. Now you need to create the index pattern. So click on the index pattern, create, and for which 
index we want to create index pattern for demo json so you copy this use this then click next and which the time field you want to use the time is time and create index pattern so index pattern created now click on the discover from this drop down you need to select the index you have created index pattern you have created demo json so you can see now 11 documents are present and this is our data which is present in this file 11 documents 11 options let's open one document so how our data is looking like you can see this is how it will show json.h json.car json.id so json id json data was our object name which we have configured in the log test configuration in the target field json data so this is how your data would look like you can see this is our message so message actually contains the actual data which present in the file after parsing we are sending data to the target field which is json data that's why in the log test output or log test console you can see the this object json data object which contains the json and same being forwarded to the elastic search and this is how the elastic search is storing it json data dot card is json data dot id tag you can also see message json parsed this is how we can see the data in the kivana also this is how we can send the data from json file to elasticsearch and we can see in the, and we can visualize your display in the kivana i will also commit this configuration whatever configuration we are using the log test configuration file bit configuration and the test sample this json sample file in the github you can go and download from there for your own practice that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video Jason is not